Hi, second grade mathematicians, we're back. And today I brought my very own second grader with me because today I'm going to teach you how to play the workplace game, Last Shape in Wins. And I happen to live with a second grader and he volunteered to be my special guest star today in today's math lesson. All right, we always start with our learning target, right? So here it is, here's our learning target. I am learning to problem solve how shapes fit into other shapes. And the way we're gonna do that learning target today is by playing a very fun game called Last Shape in Wins. Parker, do you wanna go put the problem or the uh, learning target up on the board? Right there underneath the Envy Pride sign? All right, and we're ready to do this. We're ready to learn how to problem solve how shapes fit into other shapes. Are you ready to play? All right, give me a high five. All right, Parker and I are back and we have the Last Shape in Wins board game. And right there up at the top again, we have our learning target. I am learning to problem solve how shapes fit into other shapes. And here's what we'll need. We will need pattern blocks. Well, guess what? You probably don't have pattern blocks at your home. And so we are going to, instead of using the actual pattern blocks, we are going to use our um, colored pencils to fill in the game board as we play. Your job with someone in your family, just like I got Parker to come with me, there he is, there's his hand, you're going to take turns filling in the big hexagon until there's no shapes left on the board and the last person to put a shape in is the person who is the winner. I'm gonna get us started, because Parker said I could go first, and I'm gonna pick up yellow. And if I choose yellow, that means I'm going to draw a hexagon because hexagons are yellow. And so quickly, I'm gonna shade that one on the bottom. So we kind of have a little bit of an answer key. And I see a hexagon right here in the middle. And so I am going to quick shade in my yellow hexagon. All right, Parker, it's your turn. What are you going to choose for your shape? I am going to choose a rhombus. A rhombus. So he's picking up the blue and he's going to color down here. Where's a rhombus? Mm. So you're going to color the code first. Great job, Parker. And you can just do it really, really fast. That's our friends at home are watching. You're probably going to take a lot better, closer time. All right, and where on the game board are you gonna put your hexagon? And he's noticing that there are two triangles that would fit right there where that hexagon is gonna go. Good job, Parker. All right, and now it's my turn and I'm going to use the green to color in a triangle. And I see a triangle right here under this hexagon. So I'm going to shade in that hexagon. Or not hexagon, Ms. Moss. What's that shape, Parker? Triangle. Triangle. All right, where are you gonna go next, Parker? I'm gonna use a trapezoid. Great, he's gonna finish off our code at the bottom. Trapezoid is the red. I like how careful he's filling in the lines. He's being extra careful to make sure that it stays in the lines. And I'm just noticing as he's coloring that this trapezoid is half of a hexagon. So where are you gonna fill it in in the game board, Parker? And remember, you must line it up with the grid lines on the game board. It doesn't have to touch. These three shapes are all touching. It doesn't have to touch, but it sure can if you want it to. Ooh, he's lining it up next to that green triangle. And he's noticing that it's gonna take three. While he's doing that, I'm gonna take my turn too. And I'm gonna color in this yellow hexagon. Right away, and then you'll be ready to do your next move too, Parker. And boys and girls, do you notice how nicely he is coloring? 
Okay, I did this yellow hexagon, so Parker, it's your turn again. What are you going to pick? Which color? Ooh, back to the green triangle. Great job. While he's doing that move, I'm plotting my next one. I think I'm going to go back to a rhombus because I see a rhombus poking out at me. Right here in between my two hexagons, I can see a blue rhombus. I'm going to make your rhombus a little bit darker so we can, so our friends on the video can see it. Okay, Parker? All right. It's your turn, Parks. We're getting there. We're almost done. He's going to do another one. Look at that. His blue rhombus here is matching up with this blue rhombus right next to that green triangle. And it's kind of fun to start seeing the pattern that will come with your shapes. It's kind of like a fun design if you were to use the pattern blocks in our class. I'm going to do a red rhombus right here. Oh, not a rhombus. I keep saying the wrong names. Parker, help me out. What is this shape? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. All right, Mr. Parker, where are you going to go next? I'm going to go hexagon. You're going to go hexagon? Do you think you can fit a hexagon in here? Oh my goodness, he did find a spot. Look at that. I wasn't sure there was a place. Hexagons are the biggest shape there is, so I wasn't sure he was going to be able to problem solve how to fit that shape into the other shape, but he did it. All right, I'm going to do a rhombus right here. Where's your next one going to go? We're getting to the end. Another hexagon? Oh my goodness, I didn't even think there was a spot for a hexagon, but sure enough, Parker found another hexagon. I've got my red ready. I bet you can predict what I'm going to do on my turn. If I've got the red in my hand, what do you think I'm going to go? And where could I fit it on the board? Ooh, Parker knows it. Well, I can't do it here. That would be a rhombus. I can't do it here. That would be a triangle. But, oh, I can fit my trapezoid right here. All right, Parker. Pick up the color you're going to choose next. Ooh, green, second grade friends, he's going for the triangle. I'm going to do blue next. What do you think I'm going to do? All right, here we go. Blue in the corner here. My blue rhombus. All right. Come on, do your next turn. Upside down. Upside down? Oh, I see what Parker says. This trapezoid is going this way. This trapezoid is angled this way. And if you look at this one, it kind of looks like the trapezoid is upside down. Okay, now this is where strategy really comes in to figure out how you could be the last shape in to win. I'm going to go and do another trapezoid. And Parker, do you think that's a good move? If I do this trapezoid, what's no. your strategy? No! Why, Parker? Why is this not a good move? Oh, he's picking up the blue, friends! Guess what? I do believe we have a winner. Thumbs up for Parker. He is the last shape in, and he is the one who wins. We're done with our game. And remember our learning target today was I am learning to problem solve how shapes fit into other shapes. And boys and girls, we have a 
winner! This guy, Parker, was the winner of our game, Last Shape In Wins. And he did a really cool thing. He even circled our last shape, which was a great idea, because then you can remember how you did this game, Last Shape In Wins. All right, can we wave goodbye to all of our second grade friends, Parker? See you next time for a math lesson. We hope you're staying safe.